What's good, guys? It's your boy, No Mercy, No Mercy 4K. Wait, Mercy in the building, can back at your other banger reaction video today. We got another NRO rugby reaction, man. 10 best state of origin fights of all time, NRO edition. You're not know saying rugby league, 10 best state of origin fights of all time. You guys asked me to check this out, so that's what I'm here to do. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe for me. It really helps out a lot. I post every day for you guys here, daily videos. And reactions like this. Let me know your thoughts below what you guys think about this video, these fights, my reaction to it. I hope you enjoy and let's get it. What's good, bro? If you want to see full and uncut reactions earlier than when I post them on here on YouTube, consider checking out the Patreon. Link is in the description. Support you on Patreon. Helps me keep making banger videos for you guys, bro. 10 best state of origin fights of all time. State against state. Let's check it out. Mate against mate. With the coronavirus postponing state of origin until November. We decided state of to origin. keep the origin spirit alive by taking a look back at some of the best fights. What is state of origin? Is state of origin like I don't know what, what is state of origin? I keep seeing that in the titles. I don't know what that is. I know NRO is the league. NRO, the league, rugby league. But what is state of origin? In origin is, history. I keep seeing that. Some are all in. Some are one on one. And some made state of origin the bittersweet rivalry it is today, and one of the biggest sporting events of the year. As this is greatest game of all. It's a sporting and this event. Is our ranking of the ten best state of origin fights of all time? So it was like a, a annual 10, event. So it was like Wally a Super Lewis Bowl. Runs into Spark and all in brawl in 1988. Game two like of the 1988 the NCAA uh, uh, March Madness. Greg Kineski jump onto a loose ball with New South Wales lock Phil Daly tackling over the top. Shortly after, both players ended up in the sin bin after trading blows, and Queensland captain Wally Lewis ran 20 meters to stand up for his Queensland teammate, sacrificing himself five minutes in the sin bin. With the Lang Park crowd throwing cans onto the field in disgrace. What? Nah, they were throwing cans onto the field. They're wilding. Yeah, this was on TNT? Damn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're actually throwing their hands. He, like, kicking at him, I guess. He, like, kicked at his face. I don't know if he connected. Looks like somebody else pulled up. Okay, let me put the audio up higher. The State of Origin series. Is the annual best of three rugby league series between two Australian state representative sides, the New South Wales Blues and the Queensland Maroons? Oh. So is it is an event and a series just between a specific two group of, of teams? Bro, look at all the cans and all the trash being thrown. Tough. Disrespectful ass crowd, man. The crowd is out here just throwing cans and trash onto the field. Number nine. They don't give a fuck. All in brawl in 1981. The second fight in the second State of Origin match. With only a couple of <clears> minutes <throat> into the 1981 State of Origin match, the fight started. To get third position, he went back okay. to the center position and played very well. 1981 State of Origin. Damn, <laughs> that dude was throwing the he's. The maroon guy was throwing like the little uppercuts, the haymakers. Yeah, yeah. The little uppercuts. Damn, damn. Oh my god, yeah, he was, he was, yo, he was hitting him with the haymakers. Hee <laughs> hee. Yo, that one connected. <laughs> 
At least one of them punches right there connected, bro. Damn! Then, shortly after, a scrum packed, and then, it was on again. Sterling to fight. Oh my god, they started fighting again? Yo. They just eating these punches like it's nothing. They're getting punched in the face, they just continue to play. In the NBA, you punch someone, say goodbye. You're not playing for the next 10 games. Well, Kaneska has just been pulled out by the scrub of the neck and thrown out of the side. See the start of that again. Well, there we can see Morris. Damn. Bowden. Clock them. A couple of holding each other in the foreground. Bowden. Clock them. Just standing his ground, not retaliating all that much. And, uh... On the ground, it was this, a little bit of hair pulling going on there. Number 8, Origin is born with an all-in brawl in 1980. A year earlier, in the first ever State of Origin match, the first ever fight in Origin erupted, with Queensland captain Arthur match. Beetson and New South Wales hooker Graham Wynn starting the brawl. He started fighting in the first match ever, holy! Oh, he was ready to throw the hands. <laughs> My guy was ready. This dude attacked his teammate. My guy right here was ready. Ready to defend him. Ready to throw them hands. What's up? Bro, they over here holding each other, you know what I'm saying? That kind of fight. <laughs> yeah, they out here like holding each other, like trying to like uppercut each other. That ain't really doing much though. Number seven, Paul Gallon versus Nate Miles in 2013. Game 1 of the 2013 Origin Series saw the final fight before the automatic sin bin ruling for throwing a punch. After complaining that Queensland prop Nate Miles twisted his knee in the tackle and in past situations, New South Wales captain Paul Gallon had enough as he squared up, chucked the gloves on, and started swinging. What? Oh shit! Yo, look at blue! Look at blue, look at blue! Bro, look at the blue right here. Damn, bro caught him lacking. Bro, no. And started swinging. Bro caught him lacking. Look, blue caught him. Blue, blue right here caught this dude lacking. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Oh my God. Look, boom. Damn. Oh my God. Hey, bro, you gotta put the hands Number six, up. six, Brett White versus Steve Price in 2009. You gotta, you gotta After the series the had up. already been decided in the first two games, this supposed dead rubber, Game 3, was certainly far from it. The final couple of minutes certainly had lots of feeling to it, with New South Wales forward Brett White taking on Queensland prop Steve Price, knocking out the Queenslander in the process. He wrote the record books. Four series wins in a row. A night when New South Wales came here looking for redemption. And they Damn, good passing. Oh my god. Hee <laughs> hee. Great passing. I ain't gonna lie. There's a blue back in the middle of the park. It'll have nothing to do with the try, I wouldn't think. Where's that player flat on his back in Stephen Price? What's happening? I believe that's Price. It is. What happened? This is awarded. Well, they scored a try in each of the three games this series. It's Brett White. Stephen Price takes him. Brings him down. He's at marker. And Brett White. Oh, shit. One touch. Bro, punch him back. Punch him back, yo. Yeah. He bugging, man. You got a while on him. You got a while out on him. He started fighting with you. He started punching you. Oh my God. Why is he laying down on the ground like that, though? Damn, he knocked him out. Bro, hit him so hard. He got, like, knocked out. Damn, right there. GG's. GG's. 
That one right there. He saw he saw lights after that one, bro. My my guys my my guy my guy saw a sheep after this hit right here right here. Boom. Yeah. He was seeing sheep. He he lost all nine seeing conscious. Nah, bro, really got slept on the field. Bro, really got knocked out on the field, bro. Oh, hell no. But these fans got to be stopped, bro. These fans are disrespectful. They they throwing all type of trash on the field. Okay, so you got ejected. Number five, Harrigan vs. Bella and Walters vs. Elias in 1993. Another game three with the series all but wrapped up in the first two games, and again, the rivalry was still alive. Queensland prop Martin Bella faced up against the biggest New South Wales player on the field in Paul the Chief Harrigan, and Queensland Steve Walters and New South Wales' Benny Elias went at it in the Battle of the Hookers. React to this football game? Uh, if you want to react, if you want me to react to, or you want to suggest any football, soccer, or any kind of sports or anything in the pool, you know where to do it. Do it in the Discord, man. Suggest in the Discord, bro. Maybe I will soon, but for now, we're seeing some NRL action. Damn. Okay, they're throwing the hands for real. They're throwing the hands for real. Bro, they really be fighting like every single time they play. Yo, he was trying to drop him. Oh, he trying to drop him. Number 12 trying to end this dude's career. Number 12 was hitting him, was throwing the real heavyweight punches, man. He was trying to finish him. He was trying to see another knockout on the field. Number four, Mark Geyer vs. Queensland in 1991. After an underwhelming game one, New South Wales forward Mark Geyer was told by New South Wales selectors that if he wasn't aggressive in game two, he would be dropped. With his wow. origin spot on the line, Mark Geyer exploded on Queensland, putting on big hits and playing aggressive footy, living up to his reputation. The Damn. final tackle of the first half saw Guy continue that aggression, on the team. which started a huge fight. Yo. Yo, he's wilding. Fight. Yo, look at what he did. He did the elbow. He tried to, like, he, like, dropped his elbow on that guy's head, bro. He wilding. He's bugging, bro. Nah, yeah, he's bugging, bro. Somebody got to drop him. Humble him. Yeah, yeah, Geyer. Geyer got to get dropped. He got to be humbled. Number three, Cattle Dog in 1997. They New really South Wales coach throwing, Tommy Rodriguez really had a fighting. call named Cattle Dog. This would be they, used during like like at a too. point in the match where his team were under the pump. With, With Queensland Queen taking an early 6-0 lead, it was the perfect time for the famous Cattle Dog call as Tommy Rodriguez screamed it out from the sideline. With New South Wales prop Mark Spud Carroll starting the fight. The attention drew to the two hookers with Queensland's Jamie Goddard and New South Wales's Andrew Johns going toe-to-toe -to -toe in a fairly one-sided fight. Caution to the wind. Lamb puts the right foot step on. Muir was able to bring him down. It's back almost where it started from, but it's with Ben Eichen. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Damn, 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 damn. Yo, get him some help. He's on the ground, bro. He's already on the ground. <laughs> he was in a losing position to begin with. Let's just see if we can pick it up. Oh, there you saw Goddard. He comes in. 
Oh shit, nah, he bugging. That dude just started to throw the hands. It wasn't even fair. The guy was already on his on his back. He was already on the ground. Like Bro. Nah, that the guy got heart. This guy got heart, man. This dude right here got heart, bro. He was ready to fight everybody. Number nine. Oh my, oh my god. Damn, get dropped, bitch. Damn, look, look, he got hit, look, he got hit in the face right here. Look, he got hit in the face right here. Boom, damn. Yeah, he felt that one. But then he didn't fought, he, he fought back. He fought back, he hit him with another one of his own right here, watch. Boom. Oh my, oh my. Dropped him. Dropped him. Dropped his ass, man. Say goodbye. That's so disrespectful, man. Oh, shit. Number two. Fireworks explode on and off the field in 1984. It was all in for Game 2 of the 1984 State of Origin series with Queensland's Gene Miles taking only the second run of the game and he was met by New South Wales prop Steve Blocker Roach and two other New South Wales players in a three-man tackle. Then the fight okay. was on with some players losing their jumper and others wrestling on the ground with fireworks exploding around the stadium and on the field. Okay. Damn. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's all out ball. It's an all out scrap. Say goodbye. Damn. Oh, oh my god, they jumping him over there. There's two on one. <laughs> what the hell? It's like a baseball. Everybody just came out the, the dugout. Everybody just throwing hands for no reason. Yo, damn. Yo, who pissed these dudes off like this? Why are they all so mad? And number one, all in at the MCG in 1995. After the famous all Queenslander call from Queensland's Billy Moore after halftime in game one, game two had plenty of feel to it. As the story goes, Queensland coach Paul Fatty Vorton got word from the New South Wales camp that if a Queensland player screams that Queenslander chant, they would have that player knocked on the chin. And what do you know, the Wait, first what? scrum packs and Queensland hooker Paul Bartram screams Queenslander and, as planned, New South Wales retaliated and the biggest fight in State of Origin history was on. Oh shit. Oh my god. Bro, so yeah, 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 relax, buddy. No, no, no. Meg grabbed and said, yo, yo, relax before I put my hands on you. Yo, yo, he said, calm down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'll relax. I'll calm down. <laughs> Damn. Damn, no, it's all, bro, they all going crazy. Hey, yo. Yo. Bro, they just get up like nothing happened. What the fuck? Bro, if I fight like this, bro, I am pissed. If I fight like this, bro, I am pissed. These dudes get back. These dudes get, get up. And, and 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 go back to the game like nothing happened, man. They wanted to try and show some dominance in the first scrum, 
these dudes get up and act like nothing happened, bro. Like, if they didn't just go crazy and, and fight for their lives. You know, all out brawl. That this would be on in the first scrum of State of Origin 1. They got it wrong by about 16 days. Have a look at it on replay. Danny Moore said, excuse me, Matt Singh, I'll take over. Hey, bro, that blue, blue is throwing the hands. Blue is not playing. They trying to jump blue. They trying to jump him. Look, they trying to jump him. They can't do nothing with him. The halfbacks. They didn't miss each other. Wishart was giving Andrew Johns every every available assistance. The referee's told the captains to settle the players down. It's a general warning. And really what you're seeing there now is a build up of what is happening. They're throwing the hands. Hey, hey, yo. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your hey, thoughts in the comments hey, below. Video, man. Chuck us a like on Facebook. Don't you guys thought about that video? 10 best state of origin fights of all time. NRL edition. The 10 best state of origin fights of all time, man. Shit. <laughs> These dudes are different, bro. The NRL, rugby. I know it's different leagues, but rugby, NRL. All different, bro. You guys are different. You guys are very tough. Uh, shit. Competitors. These dudes were out here fighting, scrapping, getting really messed up. And then immediately getting right back up, like nothing happened and going back to the game. <laughs> like, you got to respect it, man. Let me you guys thought about that video, my reaction to it. What you guys thought about them fights, let me know below. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please hit the like button and subscribe. I post everyday daily videos and reactions just like this for you guys here. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you made it till the end, though, let me know by commenting. Shit, W State of Origin, man. W State of Origin in the chat. W State of Origin fights in the comments. W fights here. W State of Origin in the chat. W State of Origin in the comments. Me until the end. Someone else. See you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys today. I'm <laughs>